Hello there Spybot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team Spybot and I'm here today to bring you another video in our new series of Spybot tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be upgrading your Spybot license as a free user. Okay, so welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Spybot license as a free user. This will show you how to install your Spybot license if you have already been using the free edition and want to upgrade to Spybot Plus Antivirus. I'm here set up on a Windows 10 64-bit virtual machine running in VirtualBox. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So the first step of today's video is to open up the Spybot Start Center. So if you right click on the Spybot Start Center desktop icon, then choose Run as Administrator. Then select Yes when prompted by the user account control to launch the Start Center. Then wait for the Start Center to load. So in the top left hand corner of the Spybot Start Center we can see that it says Free Edition. If we then click on where it says Free Edition, this will open up the License Overview section. Here you can view the currently installed license, as well as the comparison matrix of products that are available for private home users and for business users. If we then click on the Your License tab, we can see that we currently have the Free Edition installed and we are registered as a private user. So if we then close this window, we can then X out of the Start Center and go ahead with downloading and installing the Spybot plus Antivirus license. To do this, you must go to the email account that you used when you made your purchase of Spybot plus Antivirus. You should have received an email from the Spybot sales team after you made your purchase, which contains the link to enable you to download your Spybot license installer. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using a Gmail account, which I've previously opened up in Microsoft Edge. So please go to the email account that you used when you made your purchase of Spybot plus Antivirus. I'm going to click on Microsoft Edge to open up my Gmail inbox. And in your inbox you should see an email from no reply which says download details for Spybot 2 Home Edition or for whatever edition it is that you may have purchased. If you do not see this email, please check your junk or spam folder as sometimes the email may end up here. So if we then click into the email from no reply at spybot.info we should see, thank you for your payment for Spybot 2 Home Edition. This email contains the download details for your registered licensed full version. You can download the installer by clicking on the following web address. This is the link that we will use to download the Spybot plus antivirus license installer. And there is also a link below to the request support page in the support center on our website. So if we then click on the first link to download the Spybot license installer, a blank page should open up in your browser and you should then be asked, what would you like to do with the spybot2license.exe file, which is the spybot plus antivirus license installer? We are going to click on save and the file should download within a couple of seconds. If you are unable to download the file due to a message from Microsoft Edge's smart screen filter, you can disable the smart screen filter temporarily to allow you to download the file. To do this, click on the three dots under the X in the top right corner of Microsoft Edge, then go to settings. Scroll down to View Advanced Settings, then scroll down to where it says Help protect my PC from malicious sites and downloads with Smart Screen Filter. Here you can disable the Smart Screen Filter, then try to download the file again. For more information about disabling the Smart Screen Filter, you can view the link in the description below, which will give you instructions on how to turn off the Smart Screen Filter. If you have any other installed antivirus programs running real-time protection, it is recommended to temporarily disable them as they could also prevent the installer from downloading correctly. Once the file is finished downloading, we can then launch the installer by clicking on Run, or you can click on Open Folder, and then double click on the installer file to launch it. You should then see a prompt from the user account control, asking us whether or not we would like to run the license installer for Spybot Search and Destroy, to which we will click Yes. We then see the Select Setup Language window, which allows us to select the language we want to use during the installation of Spybot Plus Antivirus. The following languages are available during the Spybot installation of Spybot Plus Antivirus. German, English, French, Italian and Russian. We are going to select English and select OK to begin the setup wizard. The first window we see is the welcome window, which says welcome to the Spybot Search and Destroy setup wizard. This will install license files for Spybot Search and Destroy on your computer. It will then list the edition of, the, of your Spybot license. In this case, it is a home edition. It will also display the licensee, which is the name you used when you made your purchase of Spybot plus antivirus. In this case, the licensee is blank. 
It'll also show the number of PCs that you're allowed to use with a SpyBot Plus antivirus license. And it also displays the expiry date of your license, as each SpyBot license lasts for one year. Click next to continue with the setup. The next window we see is the Select Destination Location window, which is asking you where you would like to install SpyBot on your computer. We recommend using the default location in your Program Files folder on your C drive. If you have installed the free edition of SpyBot in another location, please browse to this location so that your license files can be added to the SpyBot installation to activate all of the features of your licensed edition of SpyBot plus antivirus. We are going to stick to the default and click Next to continue with the setup. The next window we see is the Installation Check page, which is asking us, is SpyBot 2 installed? An existing installation was found in C Program Files, SpyBot Search and Destroy, and the license files will be added to it. This means that the license files will be added to the current installation of SpyBot to activate all of the features of your licensed edition of SpyBot Plus Antivirus. Click Next to continue with the setup. We now see that the setup wizard is complete. Setup has finished installing SpyBot Search and Destroy on your computer. Click Finish to exit the setup. The next step is to reopen the SpyBot Start Center to confirm that our SpyBot license has been added to the SpyBot installation. So right click on the SpyBot Start Center desktop icon, then click Run as Administrator. Select Yes when prompted by the user account control, then wait for the Start Center to launch. Once the SpyBot Start Center is loaded, we can see in the top left hand corner that it now says SpyBot Plus Antivirus, and underneath it says Home Edition, where it used to say Free Edition. We can then click on where it says Home Edition to open the SpyBot License Overview. If we click into the Your License tab, we can view the details of the currently installed license. Here it should list the edition. In this case, it is a Home Edition. It should give your registered name, which is the name you used when you purchased your license. In this example, it is blank. And it will also show the purchase date and expiry date of your license. So now that we have confirmed that our license has been installed correctly, we can close the license overview by pressing OK to conclude today's video tutorial. So that's it for today's video on upgrading your SpyBot license as a free user. Thank you very much for watching and we hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending us an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe. Keep on searching. Keep on destroying. See you guys soon.